how do you do your, like, do you train one-on-one or do you have a team or how does that work? So I don't have a team. It's all me. I'm the, I'm the only instructor, the only teacher, typically teaching one-on-one, at least mm-hmm. historically. But over time, my site has grown to be more than just the one-on-one. I now have test prep books that students can get, study mm-hmm. guides, cheat sheets, explanations. I also have video courses for each section of the LSAT, as well as a video course focused on getting ready for test day. I also do a lot with webinars and things like that. I'm also actually starting to do like in-person meetups with small groups. And so there's always new things to experiment with. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely. I'll talk offline about some technical stuff about how, where you upload your videos and stuff. Like that. <laughs> we're, yeah, sure. we're kind of doing the same thing with where's my toolbox and your prep, but it's just different parts of it. So it's good to, to discuss that stuff. So uh, you've been doing this for a lot of years now. Is this the only thing you do? I mean, just is it, has it gone just LSAT or do you still do SATs and stuff? No, I stopped doing the SAT stuff pretty quickly. Like right after I went full-time with the LSAT after college, I kind of dropped all the other subjects very fast because the LSAT was much more interesting than the other stuff. You know, I think that the LSAT has a level of complexity and nuance and detail and depth that you really don't find in any of the other exams, even the GMAT, the GRE, the MCAT. The LSAT's a whole nother beast. You can't memorize it. You can't cram for it. You haven't learned anything like it in school up to that point. And so I think that that kind of caught my interest. And again, it's something that very few people can do. And so once you can do it, mm-hmm. you're automatically in demand for it.